Shalom, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who I learned from daily. Shalom, Labakariam, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful election of Israel. What I said in the beginning was Yahweh, which is Yahweh, to be, he is, which is the Heavenly Father's true name, Bahashim, in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yah. He, Hawasha, deliver. Because he's the one that's going to deliver us real soon. The hopeful elect, Yahweh Radizah. I'm part of you men. Now, this is, um, you know, everything is ringing off as we closing up uh, the year 2022. And about to begin this firestorm of a year 2023. Now, what you got here was just announced today. Uh, the World Economic Forum, the WEF annual meeting which you see the countdown on your screen, which would be in 40 days, 13 hours, 54 minutes, and counting with the seconds. Now, in this meeting, they have uh, plans to discuss, let me turn this music down, man. you know, what I see as a speed up. Because um, I could have swore they just had one of these meetings. So they're planning on speeding things up, and actually the Lord... We'll be speeding things up. And you can see from here on in. Yeah, this thing is happening in Akim. So um, the, the world today is at a critical inflection point. Now, you know, Esau is cunning with them words. Now, when you go into a critical, which is a critic, it goes into a judging. <clears throat> and, 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 and flexion. Let me just. Uh, I got the etymology on inflection, which is uh, to bend or to change. So we had a critical bending or changing point in the earth. Now, these guys are moving fast. They looking in the air. They see the chariots around them. They see the, the prophets on the streets, on the corners. The great awakening has happened. The Lord has speeded it up. The false prophets are out. Shout out to... Uh, uh, what's this guy name from ISUBK that just, you know, got choked up and exposed on the MOTB to Zariach. Shout out to you, false prophet. But you got to be, you, you, we need this because everything needs to be fulfilled. So when you go into Matthews, you know, the 24th chapter, they tell you about the false Hamashiachs, the false anointed. So they on the scene. Everything is on the scene. Everything is coming to play. But let's just deal with this money system. real. So they're, they're at a critical point. Of bending and changing. I Meaning this thing is about to speed up. Our world can snap and just change one day. With what these guys got planned. So I want to. Um, <clears throat> let's just move along here. Now this is. Uh, popular preparedness. This came out yesterday. I was meaning to touch on this. But um, I didn't get to it. You know there's so much going on. I, I, I finished it up today. You know this is real heavy. Because it all ties in. You know, and about an hour ago, they just found Donald Trump's organization guilty on on, on fraud and, and tax evasion and all kind of things. So that all the pieces is coming together because this Trump thing that they just announced and now that he has a guilty plea, which is, affects the reputation of all this of uh, hotels and everything. All this is going to play together moving forward in the next up and coming uh, coming months. So it says, uh, this is, and then this guy here, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to his channel. You know, he's a very diligent guy also, you know, he, and he goes in and he does his research. He, he really digs in, you know, and this is going to, on the brink of an economic collapse, inflation causing recession. <clears throat> now, recession is when people stop borrowing to slow the economy down. They raised the, the, um, the interest rate, I think about four times this year. If I'm not mistaken, you can you can fact check that. But I'm I'm sure it's about four times, which they want to cause the uh, the recession, which allows um, you know, the, the, the interest rate supposed to you know stop the borrowing for the small small guy or whatever, um, and it's to con to to go against inflation. But they're not going to stop inflation that way because the Lord is breaking this dollar. The, we got to remember this MOTB man. This Revelations 13 chapter, this was written 2,000 years ago. 
2,000 years ago, before the infrastructure and the technology was on the scene. This is from the father. The father is putting this in their minds to speed this thing up. We got to remember as we enter into Jacob's trouble, this is from our father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So those who trust in those names, who feel you are the hopeful elect, you know, we got our instructions, what we supposed to be doing in this day. And that's to stay away from <laughs> that MOTB, man. You understand? But before we get into um, this video right here, I just want to read this. This is... Uh, this is, uh, come on now. This is Isaiah 24, verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down. And that's about to happen on a major scale. He's already did it through Esau. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9, 24. But now he's about to clean the earth with these bombs here, man. And scattereth aboard the inhabitations thereof. And it shall be. As with the people, so with the priests, and as with the servant, so with his masters, and as as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Now this is this is this is um I just want to bring something out on that borrower and usury. This is the same chapter, uh, Isaiah twenty four in the NLT. I'm gonna read from verse one. Look, Yahweh is about to destroy the earth and make it a vast wasteland. He devastates the surface of the earth and scatters the people, priests and lay people. Servants and masters, maids and mistresses, buyers and sellers, lenders and borrowers, bankers and debtors. None will be spared. None. So the Lord is coming after this banking system. Man. And you know who runs the banking system? You top elites, you Rothschilds, you DuPonts, you Gettys, you Bogers, you Rockefellers. The top leaks, man. The top Edomites, man. The Lord is coming for you, bankers, man. And when you go into this, um, this, 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 this word, uh, let's see here, uh, buyer, right? To buy, to possess. That's us. That's us, the, the buy, right? We're the buyer, right? Quanah. And we go into the uh actually what I want to go into is the lender. This is this is it here. Right? To join. Now we know that these the Lord said that they should be the head and we should be the tail. They shall lend to thee, thee, you should not lend to them. That's part of the curses in Deuteronomy 28. So this man has been lending, but he's been lending with these adhesive contracts, man. That's why the Lord is stepping into this system because. This man has been dictating and running this kingdom with the with the raw sword and trapping nations, nations under these damn contracts. These are bonds. Because they're the lenders. So the lend is uh uh Lawa, which is to join, to be joined, to join, to attend. So the Lord is coming for you lenders. Okay. Um, actually, let's see here. Let me see. Oh, just bear with me one second. <clears throat> Where's the one I want? I want the I want the I want the usury. Debtors. Okay. Bankers, debtors. That's what I want. Buyers, sellers. Borrowers, takers of usury. This is what I want also. Nasha, which is to lend creditors, right? But when you go into this type of lending, when you go deep into the root of the word, right? To lend with usury, to be a creditor. Okay, let's go in. To beguile, to deceive. So this man has been using very de deceptive 
practices with lending. Like I said, those, these adhesive contracts, which is to stick to you. The ad is the two. The adhesive is what you, what's, 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 what you, what you stick it on. And when we sign these contracts, these bonds, rent, car note, mortgages, business license, so on and so forth, you're trapped into these contracts. And usually it comes with a hefty, hefty payment like these FHA loans. I mean, we can go across the board with this man and his usury. So it says through the idea of imposition, right? When you go into this word here, it's the impose, right? Forcing, inflicting, pressing, these pressing contracts from these lenders, man. This is why the Lord is breaking down his system. He's breaking it down because of these, 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 these imposing, inflicting, forcing contracts. And everyone here, you're under contract. Your main contract you under is your birth certificate. Look it up. That birth certificate and that number that you stand by called Social Security. As long as you got one of them, you're bonded. They're so wicked, they bond their own people under these contracts, man. So that's why the Lord is coming for the system. So I just wanted to touch on those two words there. Let's get into this video. This is the reason why the, 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 this is beautiful, man. The way the Lord is breaking it down and putting it together, it is beautiful. We're on the brink of an economic collapse. I know on this channel we talk somewhat about SHTF situations where we're talking about the grid collapsing, where we're, the energy grid collapsing, food supply chains collapsing. We're talking about these one-off events that we really haven't seen so much except in some third world countries like Venezuela, uh, Sri Lanka. I mean, not to say that these things don't happen around the world, but it is hard to wrap our brain around a, a quick collapse of, of services and everything like that. But what we're going to talk about today is actually uh, talking about an economic collapse, because this is what's unfolding before us right now. we got a lot to talk about. You're going to want to stick around for it. Uh, this video is sponsored by Genesis Gold Group. Uh, Jonathan and his team over there would love to talk to you about how to transfer some of your uh, IRAs or 401ks over to physical gold Let's or physical and right their website. Now, we're seeing that those things can rapidly happen. Power outages can spread. But what we are seeing unfold just one thing after the next after the next, we're seeing this economic collapse. We talk a lot about the dollar. Uh, the dollar is supported by essentially the fact that you cannot buy oil in Saudi Arabia and a lot of other countries without using the dollar. That is changing. They're talking about moving into uh, using gold or using baskets of currencies. Some countries are already starting to transfer over to being able to use gold to purchase that oil, Ghana particularly. All this is spelling doom for the dollar. Now, And you know what that means? Doom for the dollar. What does that mean? War. War, war, war. The dollar's the only thing holding this place up, and that's the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, is beautiful. He's perfect in all his ways. That's how he's see, he's breaking down the system from inside out. The system is corroded from the inside and the outside. This is how you know you're going into the third world's war. This is how you know. If all the oil companies said no more petrodollar, we dealing in gold. That was one of the reasons they went to Libya because of that. Look into World War I, World War II, while I was fought. They have a documentary out on YouTube called All Wars Are Bankers' Wars. But ultimately, we move, ultimately we're moving into the system of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. He's on his way. The Lord is taking down these kingdoms and he's raising his kingdom up. That's what we're saying. <laughs> Let's get it. Um, 1 Corinthians 15. This is this what we're seeing. The Lord is making his moves. 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. Then cometh the end. And that's where we at. 
the end of Esau's world. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even the father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he had put all enemies under his feet. You see that? And it's what our Lord about to do. And all the nations are our enemies. Uh, Songs 83. And this goes right with Daniel's second chapter, man. Because we at the toes of this thing. We at the end of that last ruling empire that was bruised and came back. And now we about to witness the return of our Lord, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakadah, Shalom.